New York, 1989. Patrick Bateman is a young, upwardly mobile 27-year-old. He's wealthy, handsome, and utterly insane. By day, he works on Wall Street. By night, he dissects girls and hacks up workplace rivals with an axe. You see, Patrick Bateman is an American psycho. Now, I've talked about American Psycho on this channel many times in the past. If you're familiar with my channel, I'm sure you know that I love this movie. American Psycho is a miracle of a movie and a masterpiece in my book. The film was adapted from a novel, a very controversial novel that at one time was considered unadaptable. You see, the novel has no real plot or structure, and it's remarkably graphic in terms of its violence. And immaculately detailed when it comes to the minutia of Patrick Bateman's shallow, obsessive existence. The book's original publisher, Simon & Schuster, refused to publish the book in 1991. The book was subject to protests, and its author, Brett Easton Ellis, received death threats. The film's road to release was also marred in controversy. It, too, was the subject of protests. If only those protesting had actually watched the movie prior to protesting it, certainly they would have recognized the fact that American Psycho is a period piece, a critique of men behaving badly, a satire of Reagan-era politics, and a blistering dark comedy. At the core of the film is the electrifying performance of Christian Bale as Patrick Bateman. Bale is absolutely mesmerizing. Bateman is a completely irredeemable character. He's obsessed with status, with brands, with surface. How you feel doesn't matter, as long as you look good. He details his elaborate morning routine and then describes people based on the designers they wear. But as evil and dorky as Patrick Bateman is, he is an incredibly fascinating character to watch. If he's on screen, you simply can't take your eyes off of him. It's his quirky mannerisms and strange speech patterns and the tone of his voice and how he effortlessly shifts from yuppie stockbroker to heartless serial killer. Was there that much of a difference between the two? And though the movie goes to some pretty dark places, it never loses its sense of humor. American Psycho is one of the most quotable movies ever, particularly when Bateman begins to wax poetic about Genesis or Whitney Houston CDs. How could anyone forget the business card scene? Oh my god, it even has a watermark. And hands down my favorite Bateman line, I have to return some videotapes. American Psycho was brilliantly adapted by Guinevere Turner and Mary Heron, providing plot and structure to a story that had neither. Heron's direction is flawless. Instead of going after the 80s vibe on a surface level with big hair, spandex, and neon, Heron instead captures the attitude of the era. The film features a phenomenal supporting cast, including Reese Witherspoon, Willem Dafoe, Chloe Savini, Justin Thoreau, and Jared Leto as Paul Allen. When people think Jared Leto, they think The Joker, Dallas Buyers Club, Requiem for a Dream. When I think Jared Leto, I think... Hey, Paul! Ah! If you've not seen American Psycho, I cannot recommend it any higher. I also highly recommend checking out the novel. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have this 4K stillbook to review. Get a load of this. The slip slides down or up, revealing more of Mr. Bateman. How cool is that? Let's see it again, this time in super slow mo. The back of the slip features the plot synopsis, the list of extras, and the technical specs. When you remove the slip, you have this cool image on the back of the steelbook. There is the 4K UHD disc, and behind it is the standard Blu-ray. On the opposite side, we have Patrick Bateman's business card. Good coloring. That's bone. And the lettering is something called Cillian Rail. This is how you do a steelbook. As far as the picture quality and sound quality are concerned, I thought American Psycho has never looked better than on this 4K UHD release. The 4K UHD provides the film with a level of depth, clarity, and detail that it's never had before. And I should know, I've owned American Psycho on VHS, DVD, and standard Blu-ray before picking up the 4K UHD. I'd give the picture quality a very solid 4.5 out of 5. Same thing with the audio quality, I'd give it a 4.5 out of 5 as well. American Psycho both looks and sounds incredible on this 4K UHD release from Lionsgate.
As far as extras are concerned, we get five deleted scenes with optional commentary from director Mary Heron. We get the 80s downtown, a featurette about the trends that made the 80s the 80s. It's 31 minutes and 46 seconds in length. It includes interviews with James St. James, Gil Reveal, Mike Ryan, Phil Hartman, not that Phil Hartman, Michael Musto, Guinevere Turner, and more. Next, we have American Psycho from book to screen. It's 48 minutes and 53 seconds in length. It includes interviews with Mary Heron, Guinevere Turner, Edward R. Pressman, and others. They discuss the Brett Easton Ellis novel, the controversy that surrounded it, the obstacles of adapting the book to the screen, the themes of the book and the movie, and much more. We get a new audio commentary with director Mary Heron, an old audio commentary with director Mary Heron, and an audio commentary with actor and co-screenwriter Guinevere Turner. Overall, this is a phenomenal new release for American Psycho, the Best Buy exclusive 4K UHD steelbook. Again, American Psycho has never looked this good. I highly recommend it. If you've not seen the film, by all means, go out and watch it. If you are a fan of American Psycho, then this 4K UHD Best Buy exclusive steelbook should be in your collection. And the interactive steelbook slipcase combo... Hmm. I could do this all day. Come on, man! If you've seen American Psycho, please let me know your thoughts on the film down in the comments section below. If you've read the novel, let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments section below. Also, if you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you all out there are having a great, safe, healthy, happy, and horror movie filled Halloween season. Take care and until next time, peace. A huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members. I appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and join me for exclusive live streams, get early access to videos, and have a say in what movies I review on my channel. Become a channel member and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream. Links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.